Right then, let's get cracking in with a big, big brush. Big, big eye brush. This is, and I'm just going to wet it all over first, and then I'm going to start off with a bit of burnt umber and ultramarine. I want a sort of what I call a sort of dirty blue, dirty blue sky. I'm going to go something, something like that across there. Fill that bit up as well. And then where? What should I start with first? So now I want it really strong, really strong, because I want to put in some trees. So they're getting a bit bigger than that. I might leave, put those in a bit more when uh, when the paper's dried a little bit. But for now, I'm just going to be using a large hake and a number three rigger. So I'm just going to use the Brigger brush just to pop in some big, big trunks going up into these trees. I can go up there like that. So what I've mixed so far is burnt umber and ultramarine. Now we've also got some big trees over on the left. I'll give them right up there like that. Come on, something down. It's about like so. Again, mix a bit of brown, a bit of blue. Now I want a house on the left hand side. So I'm going to scrape in with the card. So I need something to scrape against. So what I'm going to do is put a few darks in there. You know, that'll work nicely to scrape into. So I'm going to use a piece of card and then just, sorry if that's too small, it's a bit bigger than that. Let's try and make it quite a big building. And then just a few random marks. It's still quite wet so I can't quite Do the rest of it, yeah. Little chimney at that end. Just a few darks up there. To the rigger. I'm going to pop a few little. Can't resist a few little posts and things going up there. It's difficult to resist, it really. Is. I'm going to introduce another colour, just quite subtle though. It's a little bit of raw sienna. that's going around Let's switch brushes actually Let's go back to the rigger brush again can't resist putting these posts in Telegraph pole, 
בעצם. אני רואה אז. the old fence posts. Just need to have these a little bit dark, I think. his leg going forward. Let's just lean him right the way forward. That looks an absolute mess. That's not a how can we turn that into a bush? And then a few more bushes in front of that and a few twigs and things. Actually, that works out quite well because we've got a bit of depth now on this side. I should dry this really, but I'm, I'm trying to do it without using the air dryer, so see, see how far I can get. I'm going to have to use the air dryer. I mean, I might smudge some of it, but it's just part of the painting. Um, again, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to put our little man in. Just use a little bit more care this time, as he trudges up his up the hill. Little dog in tow. I think all I want to do now is just add some shadows and I think it will be pretty much there so I'm just going to mix mix the three colours together a sort of bluey grey type colour something similar to the sky and then also I've already put them in where the man was so I'm just going to just have something across there now. thing I want to do is just just wipe that up there like that and then just pull the shadow from from some of these might have been these really acrous actually
something like that I think. Give that a quick dry. Shadow from um, there's a few. I think I'm going to call that one done and just sign that now. I'm just going to sign it down there, out of the way. Call that one finished. Right, let's stick a mount on it now and see what it looks like. So here's the finished painting. So we're just going to have a closer look. You can see where I just started the sky, the mix of ultramarine, burnt umber, and then continued that down to those distant far hedges and trees and things. That's what I used to scrape using the corner of a plastic card, this little cottage there. Few more scraping, just a few fence posts and a few more lines, random marks with a number three rigger brush. A little man and his dog there walking, trudging up the steep hill. And then nice three-dimensional effect there. You can see the faded trees in the background. And then the stronger toned leafless trees and bushes in the front. And then coming down you see this shadow sort of sweeps across and I've just picked out a few posts there just to add a few more shadows and it continues up the other side. That's my quick winter impression. Um, do join me over at patreon.com slash Stephen Cronin. 260 videos you'll see. If you click on collections on the main page you'll see all the videos there exclusive to patrons. Never, never been on YouTube or anywhere else. So that's patreon.com slash Stephen Crony. If you've got any questions, please ask. Um, keep practicing and I'll see you again soon.